guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom. I'm filling in for Greg, the crazy ball guy. He's out getting a tune up, so you got to deal with me for a few weeks. But today we're sitting in front of a beautiful 1965 GTO convertible. And I'll tell you what, you don't see them like this, guys. Look at the bright work. Look at the chrome. Look at the bumper. The paint is absolutely awesome. You can see yourself for miles inside it. Sitting on a beautiful set of Kregers, BF Goodrich Radial TA. This is the epitome of an American classic car. Just absolutely stunning. Frame off restored. Look at this interior. Four speed, 389. It's ready to go, guys. Remember at Vanguard, we are non consignment. That's how we're able to maintain a beautiful quality in our inventory. My name is Tom, by the way. I'm available seven days a week. I'm the one that will answer your call. Call me anytime at 248-974-9513. Look at down the side of that, baby. Mirror finish. Usually on these GTOs, this is all corroded, looking nasty. This is like brand new here, guys. Let me open up the trunk and check out what's inside here. Hopefully no surprises. Wow, look at this guy. Beautiful trunk mat. You got your jack, your spare. Trunk looks absolutely phenomenal. Underneath here, we always check the lips, make sure they're nice and clean. It's got the uh, jack instructions there. Absolutely phenomenal. Remember, we can help with transport financing the whole nine yards. We're a one-stop shop. We'll make it easier than your local dealership. 99% of our sales are sight unseen over the internet, so don't be shy. We've been doing this for 17 years. Call us and we'll tell you how to park this beautiful dream in your driveway, guys. Look at that beauty. Doors are absolutely all the margins, everything beautiful. So call me today at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this goat in your driveway. All right, guys, let's go for a ride in the 65 Goat. What an awesome restoration this one is. Beautiful 65. It looks like everything's working in the dash. The only thing that is not working is the stock radio, which we usually don't fix radios, especially stock ones. It'll give you an opportunity to put in some good tunes. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are non-consignment. All the vehicles in our shop are here because we inspected them, loved the quality, and we wanted them with us. Remember, I'm available seven days a week at 248-974-9513. And we can help you with your shipping needs, your finance needs, whatever it may be, call me. 248-974-9513. We're located in Michigan, about a half hour north of the airport. So feel free to come on in and visit us. Check out all our both our facilities with wonderful cars. This is a wonderful go to go straight down the road. It doesn't get better than a black on black GTO convertible. So what we're gonna do next is bring this into our shop 
and we're gonna do something that nobody else does in the industry. We're gonna pull, put this up on the rack so you can see the wonderful undercarriage of this hot 65 GTO. This is our building right here in Plymouth, Michigan, where it all happens. Okay guys, we got our 65 convertible GTO up on the rack. So first thing that stands out to me here, we obviously have a brand new fuel tank in it. Um, now this car, as you're gonna move forward here, you're gonna see it does look like it was undercoated back in the day and uh, most of it looks to still be there. Um, obviously a brand new exhaust system on it. Uh, brand new tires on it, we're gonna get to that in just a second. Uh, this here is a GM 10, or excuse me, a Pontiac style 10 bolt. They have the flutes in them. Uh, rear end here, this is roughly 411 to one, or it is, right? we actually rolled it over, 411 to one. Uh, it is a limited slip, and uh, of course, you know, factory uh, factory four-link style suspension on it. Um, moving forward to that, we got a set of Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, floorboards look like they're in all right shape. Once again, though, you can see that this car has been undercoated. I do not believe the frame has actually been pulled on this car during its uh, restoration. It looks to be uh, all original type stuff under here. Uh, moving forward to that, we have a Muncie four-speed, I believe it's an M20, uh, four-speed manual transmission. Now, here's an interesting thing about both the engine, transmission, and rear end, is they are all right in line with other, right in line, excuse me, with each other in, uh, as far as dates go. Now, the build date of the car is also April, I think uh, first week of April, and that is right around the time that all these components were built together. So, you do with that information what you will. However, this car was born with this suffix code engine, was born with the four-speed transmission, and uh, the gear ratio, of course, has been changed. This car, if I'm not mistaken, was born a 308. Now, moving forward to that, uh, suspension looks like it's all just pretty good shape. We, uh, of course, we shake everything down and make sure everything's nice and healthy. Uh, it does look like someone has redone the brakes pretty nicely, though. We do have like a brand new uh, backing plates, or excuse me, dust shields on it. Uh, looks like newer calipers on it as well. Uh, front shocks and springs look like they've also been replaced. Uh, you can notice that the engine is really, really bright. That is because the previous owner actually rebuilt this engine, and uh, pictures of that rebuild come with the car. Uh, so that is a very recent thing. Um, also, you heard me say over there that the tires are new. They are indeed 215 60 R15 via Goodrich Radial TAs on a set of Krager SSs. And uh, that is a 2020 uh, DOT code on this one, so a very, very recent one. Coming to the back, once again, a little bit more, as uh, we typically find with a lot of our hot rod cars, 255 60 R15s back here as well. And the DOT code is, once again, 2020, so uh, very, very recent tires. So, that all being said, let's take a look at the uh, 389 under the hood. All right, guys, here it is. As you uh, heard me say underneath there, it is a 389 Pontiac V8. Now, uh, the previous owner did rebuild it. It is a, uh, well, 389 short block with uh, Edelbrock Performer aluminum cylinder heads on it, ARP head bolts, hydraulic camshaft. Um, the intake manifold is an Edelbrock Performer, uh, yeah, Edelbrock Performer dual plane aluminum unit. And on top of that, we have a Holley 600 CFM 4160 model carburetor, vacuum secondaries. Um, good looking uh, chrome dress up kit on it. Looks to have uh, just an OEM style uh, water pump, clutch fan, original style uh, alternator and power steering pump. It is a power steering car. Uh, something else here that I see is a uh, brand new master cylinder and booster. Uh, firewall, all that looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just a nice blackout on it. Everything looks as it should. Now, back to the engine and transmission rear end the drivetrain, how I had mentioned underneath it that the date codes were all very, very close. What I mean by that is that the Cowell tag on the car tells me this car was born the first week of April, 1965. This engine was cast April 10th, 1965. Now, typically your iron predates the car by roughly a month. And that pretty much goes, and by iron, I mean the casting date of the engine block and transmission and so on and so forth back. Um, however, we actually have PHS documents for this car and it's really strange that the engine, transmission and rear end all match one another very, very closely in date and the suffix code for the engine uh, matches the PHS documents along with what the transmission this car was born a four speed and uh, so on and so forth. So it, uh, it is very possible that something, this could be the original transmission of, in engine, excuse me, if something kind of goofy happened in the factory like a hold up, but that is the information and we're giving you that information. Uh, do with it what you will, but uh, it is a distinct possibility. Um, outside of that though, this uh, pretty much wraps this one up, guys. If you'd like to have this one in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below. That Vanguard Motorsports parked this PTO in your driveway.